Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So this is a momentous occasion. I am about to become Thronebreaker. In order to become Thronebreaker, you need to have completed Act 6 and have a Rank 3 6 star. This will be my first Rank 3 6 star. And my options are very limited. And we're going to see in a moment who I decided. So uh, if you guys have been following the channel, you have an idea of my options at least. And feel free to leave a comment uh, guessing who you believe I am taking up as my first rank three six star. All right. So we'll count it down. Five, four, three, two, one. Now. These are my current options. But as you may notice, there's only one that has that little flashing up arrow, meaning they're ready to go to rank three right now. Invisible Woman does have more prestige, but I would have to take her to rank two and then rank three. All right, so we are going to be taking up Wasp. She will be my first rank three six star. Now, before we do that, let's dip over here because I actually want to do something first. So this is the first level offer for Cavalier, since I'm currently Cavalier. And for a thousand, you get tier four basics, always can use those. A tier four class catalyst selector, three of them, uh, two tier two alphas, which is always good, and some T1 alpha catalysts. It's not a bad offer. All right. Uh, so I'm going to grab that before I become throne breaker and the new offers become available. So let's go ahead and grab that. Okay. Now, the tier four class selector. Uh, right now, I want to have enough skill that if I pull Aegon, I'll be able to take him right up. I really don't have anyone else that I'm burning to uh, take up except Professor X. Uh, he is the newest. So instead of skill, we're going to go and grab some mutant. All right, so that's what we're going to do. Grab that mutant there. Grab another mutant. Because we actually do have a number of skill already. And grab another mutant. So eventually, Professor X uh, will be able to get ranked up. All right, so take a look at this offer for Cavalier. And if you want to hear about my thoughts on these offers. I have a video uh, where I talk about it at length, but this offer to me is not worth it. The 3000 uh, six star shards, those could be useful. Um, the T2 alphas, of course, six of them, great. But really I'm not about to do that. So now let's go over to our champions and wasp you will become my first rank three six star and is done wasp is now my latest and first rank three six star so while I'm leveling up this Wasp, my latest rank three six star, I love the way that sounds. I wanted to talk to you guys about why I chose to do this. So I had an option. I could have taken Invisible Woman up to rank two and then taken her to rank three. She has higher prestige and I'm really prestige hungry. However, because of the way the offers that Kabam has available right now for Cyber Weekend, I don't have any guarantee that I'm going to be able to awaken her 
or get her SIG level up to where she's actually improving my prestige. So as a prestige rank up, right now, it doesn't really matter. She's unawakened. So if I'm going to take an unawakened champion uh, six star to rank three, I'm going to take one that's going to be useful to me. I use Ghost all the time in questing, general questing, side quests. If you watch some of my live streams, you know that she's always there and she's not just a synergy champion. She's actually really good and has helped me out in many a jam. OK, so she is definitely going to be used and is the more useful of those rank ups. So that's why I chose Wasp. No regrets. And now we return you to our regularly scheduled. And there program. you have it. She is now ranked three and level 45. Let's take a look at her at this level. All right, so her health is 28,468. Attack is 5,870. Uh, let's take a look. Okay. And I am running suicide, so bear that in mind. And let's take a look here at her attributes a little bit here. Um, her Brock proficiency is horrible, but she is a glass cannon. Uh, so we expect her damage to be off the chain and you can see her critical damage rating is really high okay. Before we get into any wasp gameplay, we need to finish with these offers now I restarted the game after becoming throne breaker and As you can see I have a new offer This is the throne breaker offer All right um, just to refresh your memory, the first level of the Cavalier had tier four basic catalysts, five of them, uh, three tier four class catalyst selectors, uh, two T2 alphas, and four T1 alpha catalysts, along with 100,000 gold. For the same 1,000 units, we get six star shards, a five-star awakening gem, a five-star nexus crystal, a signature stone, and gold. Okay, but these offers, while not anything to write home about, uh, are probably the best that we're going to see for free-to-play players like myself. So I'm going to go ahead and get these, even though I'm not really happy about it at all uh, but hopefully when we do uh, you know our crystal opening uh, we will get something that helps our account changes our account all right so let's go ahead and grab that offer all right that opened up this one we've got six stars six stone crystals so it's random not really worth it you're gonna get like one to two on average um, a tier five basic catalyst, you can get that anyway. Uh, four to five rank up gem, that's useful. But honestly, the only reason to get this for me is to get the next ones. So let's go ahead and grab that one. Um, you also get a six star Nexus Hero Crystal. Um, so that's that's big, maybe. Uh, but we'll see. We'll, we'll have an opening later. All right, so... Now this offer, Superior Summoner Bundle, is opened up to us. Um, we've got a one to two six star rank up gem, generic. Uh, so I can now take up Invisible Woman if I want to, but you know, um, I would have had to have been Thronebreaker already to even have this offer. Um, we got 25 signature stones, uh, generics. That is probably one of the juicier uh, parts of this. Um, we also have uh, five ten percent tier five. You can get those every week if you're in a decently high alliance uh, and you're doing map seven every week. Uh, and then you have this featured six star hero crystal. That's juicy. Um, so we're going to grab this. And finally, a six star awakening gem crystal. All right. And honestly, this is going to help me regardless of what class. Maybe I'll be able to awaken Wasp, 
but I have someone of every class that I would not mind awakening. All right, so let's grab that. And we've got all the Thronebreaker offers. What you're looking at here is the Cavalier offers, which are also available to us. And if I wanted to, I could go ahead and grab all of those. They're not worth it. All right. So that's it for that. And we'll end the video with a little bit of rank three six star wasp gameplay.